welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. We are Alfred the Great, no longer the petty king of Wessex, we are now the king of England. This is episode 7, and if you've missed the series so far, I'll pop a link in the description and there'll be another link on the screen to the playlist. We've had quite an eventful rise so far, and we have surpassed what Alfred the Great achieved in his own lifetime, historically. Let's take stock of the things we need to do. We are 49 years old, married to Ellsworth. She's also 49 and she's our soulmate. We have seven children, two sons, one illegitimate and one legitimate who is gay, unfortunately for us, for our dynasty rather. And he has as yet not fathered any children despite having been married for five years to his wife, Leo Flett. So with us approaching kind of old age for this kind of time in history, I mean, well, we are old. We're coming up for 50, which is old in this age. The year is 898. Historically, I believe Alfred died in 899, but I haven't double checked it, but I think it's 899. I suspect we will live a little longer. We're still in fine health um, and we went down the skill tree for the whole body. So uh, the perk that gives you a kind of a health boost. Hopefully we'll live a long time. And our concern at the moment is the dynasty. How are we going to carry on our name once uh, our son Edward, Prince Edward, takes over? And he hasn't fathered children and he's a homosexual and he might not father children. So... We are going to take the drastic action, I think, of seducing our son's wife. So yes, I know that's controversial in this day and age, and probably even then, but it's something we're going to have to do, just to ensure, or hopefully ensure, that we can pop this lady and carry on our line in any way that we need to. First things first, though, we've got some organising to do. We raised our armies in the last episode. We fought a war against the Vikings of Jorvik and we defeated them. We've captured this um, Yorkshire territory, which, I mean, I think it's still called the Earl of Jorvik, but I'm not entirely sure. We can't actually usurp that, so it then becomes part of our realm. But it's going to cost us 300 gold. I think it was 300. Uh, uh, 250 gold. Yeah, well, we could afford it, but not quite yet. But we will really soon. First things first, though. We hold too many duchies, and we're over the domain limit. So we're going to give away a couple of territories here. We will hold on to Effovich, which is York. We will keep that for ourselves. We'll give away Lydus Leeds. We'll give that to someone. We'll grant that to somebody. And we're going to grant that to our illegitimate son. So he's got some lands, but not too powerful lands. This will probably end up being a mistake. I'm sure it'll be a mistake, but I'm going to do it anyway. We'll find out. So now we are at 11 uh, holdings. We can only hold 10. So let's have a look. Then. So he's, he's yeah, he's uh, I he's got a decent little... Uh, he's not amazing, but he's okay. And he's a bastard of our dynasty. So, you know, I, th I feel like he's, he's probably all right. And since our son's not producing an heir, I mean, I'm really, really concerned about that. Yeah, so let's get this other place away. Pocklington. Pocklington? I'm, really, I'm not sure what that is. Pocklington, maybe? Yeah. I don't know if that's a place. <laughs> Who knows? I've never been there, so... Who knows? Let's grant that to someone else. We're going to grant that to... Not our son, because he's going to inherit everything eventually anyway. Let's give it away to... Marry to our daughter. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's give it to him. We'll grant him that. Who was it again? This dude. He's got a high stewardship skill, so I mean... I think he'll run the play as well. We're back at our domain limit now, and next thing, uh, he's no longer our seneschal, so let's see. We're going to point all sorts of things now. Um, what does he actually do? Control growth. All right, so he's, he's quite handy, really. Uh, yeah, let's give it to our son. He's actually, he's got good aptitude for this, so there we are. Awesome. So we still hold Efevich. Efevich. Well, however you say it. It's got no buildings. <laughs> so they haven't been very busy when they held this place. Right. We also hold too many duchies. So we were going to give away, anyway, the duchy of Kent, I think this bottom bit is, and then East Anglia. We'll give those away. We'll grant those to someone. Oh, the petty kingdom of East Anglia. Let's, we'll grant that to someone. Let's grant it to Lord Uhtred of Gwent, our marshal. 
Does he remain our marshal then? I hope so. But maybe not. Maybe not. He doesn't. That's fine. And let's give away East Anglia. Let's give it to our son. He can, he can be looking after that until he's ready to take everything over. Became your vassal. All right, so he's no longer that. Why Why can they no longer serve us? I mean, it's that, that's strange. So how many duchies can we hold? It says we hold four still. Annoying. Stuart. Uh, this guy. He was unhappy, he's, and he's the Duke of Mercia, so he's, he's pretty powerful. This guy as well. Mine's 100. So he really hates us. Catholicism is hostile. What is he? He's a lollard. We're going to demand his conversion. Well, not quite yet. Hang on. We'll, we'll, sort, we'll sort all our problems out first. Let's give uh, away East Sax, or East Sex, however you say that. We'll give that away as well. It's a bit annoying that we have to grant all these lands out. Um, should we give them to our son again? He can hold them in our stead for now. Yeah. Too many duchies held three. I mean, how many can you hold? Can you only hold two? That sucks. Five. We can modify two contracts. Ah, so this is, we can modify his contract. Yeah, let's do that. Since we're not making any money at the moment, how are the, are the raised armies and we've given away some land? We use a hook. Modify his contract. We still hold too many duchies. We've got no chancellors or anything like that. Oh my god. So our son, uh, he's actually a really good chancellor. Steward. Ah, he's not good. Yep. We just, did we just give him that land? I'm not sure. I think so. And, yeah, let's make him the spy mouse. That should help. Yeah, he's, he's fine with that. And he's our nephew. Hopefully he won't kill us. <laughs> so we've got eight prisoners in here. None of these can be ransomed by the look of things. Except, we've, I think we are ransoming two, so we'll see. Um, Court positions... Let's see, can we give this someone? Yeah, he'll do. Uh, that'll do for now. We'll have a look at the royal royal positions in a moment. Let's see if this sorts itself out. We, we still hold too many duchies. Oh. A scheme at court. My spy master is coming with grave news. Well, we do not know yet. Someone's plotting to kill my courtier, Larda. She's our jester. Uh, I'm not that bothered about that, to be honest. So we've ransomed those two prisoners. We still hold too many duchies. Uh. Again, our son can hold that for us. Fine. So now things are sorted again. The domain is sorted out. We are the king. Our son holds quite a lot of land for us. Hopefully he'll stay loyal. Uh, let's... Expand our army. It's going to take them a while to get back, and that's okay. It's fine. We're letting time go by a little bit here. So the next order of business will be to take these last couple of sections that we need to, that we need to take to unify England. My spy mouse is coming with grave news. Is my rival Seaward who's plotting to kill Lada? Well, they, they've been at each other's throats quite a lot. This guy is a pain in the butt. Hopefully, we can be rid of him at some point. But, uh, like, Alfred is just uh, an honest. So, he's like, it's, I don't want to do too much killing with him and stuff like that. Even seducing our daughter in law is going to cause him some stress. I mean, well, I suppose it might <laughs> generally anyway. But um, let's see if we can even do this. Uh, let's have a look. Seduce your daughter-in-law. 95% chance of success. It's going to take two years. Right. Let's try this. I may live to regret it. Let's see. So, yeah. So, we're going to do this. We might gain a little bit of stress. Let's... We'll see what happens with that. It might be a big mistake on my part. But, you know, it's it's one of... It's like the kind of the fun of this stupid game. 
Northumbria. Now we really would like to bring this into our into our kingdom, of course, which we will. But y'all ragging our half dance, and he's not going to like that. So even on low feudal obligations, he won't. Um, we also took on Mercia on low feudal obligations. So I mean, they're not really paying us very much in the way of uh, taxes and things like that. You know. Let's see now. Can we declare war on him? No, we can't. He still holds this. There was a right debacle with this this little county. And I still don't quite understand how we ended up losing control of it. I mean, I suppose I could watch through the episodes again and figure it out. But who knows? I'm going to pause it for a moment. And I will see what happened to that guy. Actually, Tudwal, he was called. He was married to one of my daughters. So, 23 months to go on that seduction. And while we're at it... We're also going to forge a claim on Norfolk, because I, I want that back. I want that in my land. So we've just built a bunch of things here. Uh, crop fields constructed in Carisbrook. That's on the Isle of Wight. Wooden barracks constructed in Bath. These are all my holdings. So if you're wondering, the holdings here with the uh, with the blue ribbons are my personal holdings. I'm sure you already know that, but you, I thought I would share it, just in case you don't. So, it says we're holding 9 now. I'm sure we just dropped that down to 10. So, which one? I've lost control of one of, our, one of the places we had. As a, scholar of the diplomatic art, as a scholar of the diplomatic arts, I am well aware of the power of an eloquent compliment. Showing admiration for a woman's best qualities is a sure path to her heart. I shall write a letter to, you, to Leo Fled. Complimenting her ambition and lust for life. Rational, brilliant mind. Forgiving nature. Irresistible charm. It doesn't tell us any percentages, so I don't really know. Really sure the best course of action here is. Ambition and lust of life. Oh, budding interest, so excellent. More chance to succeed. Like I said, this seduction of our daughter-in-law could well be a mistake but you know so this is Lawrence our illegitimate son he's come of age let's check him out uh, he became an astute intellectual well good for him plus six learning so he's, he's got a good learning skill there 17 16 Count Henrique might join the war against the tyranny of Duke. This is some war we're involved in on the continent, but we haven't really taken part in it. We've been pretty busy, to be honest, uh, with our own problems. Let's see if we can find a wife for our son. An alliance with the Kingdom of Alba, Scotland. Um, I'm not sure. Who are we allied with at the moment? Tudwell of Norfolk. So he's still there. Is, is that him? That's, that, that's our son-in-law. But somehow, his liege is the guy from the Isle of Man. I, I really don't understand how. He's married our daughter in a matrilineal marriage. So he should have been... This should be our... Um, this should absolutely be our <laughs> our land in our, in our realm. I don't understand it. But, so we're going to have to go to war with this guy too, well, even though he really likes us. Because um, there doesn't seem to be any other way to get, get him to be part of our realm. I mean... Like I say, I mean, I've always said I'm, I'm not an expert at this game. I really don't know that much about it. I've, I've played it a bit, but I have no idea how we would possibly get this back. Um, but for now, let's we'll marry off our, our bastard son to this lady. Ablin? She's a, a child of a concubine. Well, what do we get for that? Yeah. A bit of prestige. It's a little alliance with a smaller faction but that that's okay let's go for that we'll speed things up a little excellent and uh, we've got a new stewardship pick uh professional workforce tax man let's go for professional workforce so building construction time minus 30 and holding construction time minus 30. Utrid finished increased control in devon now do we need to control increase the control anywhere else and actually, well, we can raise another regiment of men at arms. What have we got available? Armored footmen, light horsemen, onagers. We already have some onagers, some uh, bowmen, and huskals. So the huskals, are they heavy infantry? Yeah, they're heavy infantry. So let's not bother those. Let's get some light horsemen. 
take them a while to assemble. It's just a bit of money. Meanwhile, let's construct walls and towers at Salisbury. Let's also construct walls and towers on the Isle of Wight. Defend, build up our defences a little, wear them. What can we get here? Trade port, yeah, trade port, excellent. So that's going to all help build up our infrastructure. Uh, we've discovered plenary assemblies. So that's our uh, cultural, cultural fascination. What are we going to work on next, I wonder? Since we are the head of this. Uh, at least I thought we were. Innovations. Tribal we are still. Barracks. City planning. That means we could then build new um, holdings, which would be handy actually because we've got some empty counties. What else have we got available here? Not that much really. Banos. We also want to get towards uh, being able to implement primogenitor whatever you call it. So your firstborn son inherits primogeniture? Geniture? I don't know. It's a difficult word for me. Uh, it's not easy. Let's go for city planning for now, though. How long is that going to take? 28 years. It's unlikely we'll see this still with Alfred. Victory in that war. We didn't contribute, so we won't get anything for it. Claim on Norfolk's almost done. Our seduction's kind of halfway. 15 months to go on that. My steward, Earl Siegfried, has come up with the bold idea of assessing all property in my realm in a single giant survey. Like the Doomsday Book, I think this is it. Um, creating a definitive record of my holdings. By compiling this knowledge, I would gain better insight in administrative matters as well as tax collection, though the initial investment would not be cheap. I will know every acre, surf, and head of livestock. Cost us 215. Got the money for it. Let's go for the whole whack. It does empty our coffers significantly. 89. My Marshal, Duke Uhtred, is concerned that my assessors will be a prime target for bandits and thieves. Even an incomplete survey could give criminals valuable information about potential targets they could attack. In order to keep my subjects safe, Uhtred recommends sending an armed guard with the assessors. Whoa. My law is sufficient protection for my subjects. Organize a militia. Send a knight with each one. That will cost us 110. I don't want to do that. My assessors will be protected from... Nah, let's do it. We'll put one in the debt for a little while, but that's okay. Only minus 20. The celebrations have come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Duchess Leo fled. That's Remember, that's our son's wife who we are in the process oh actually she's pregnant maybe i shouldn't have bothered with this oh let's be entertained let's see what happens here it was great wasn't it oh my gosh well we'll see what happens here i just, i knew this would be a mistake the churches will be assessed like it or not yeah we also charge the church i want money off them going on with these guys they've got no ally so i mean once we can press this claim we should easily be able to capture norfolk Ooh. that's fine 900 ad now your sister ethel swift has died of old age so she was married to the old duke of mercia father to uh father and mother too uh Eldwolf. The Doomsday Book. While travelling through the earldom of East Riding, a group of bandits attacked my assessors. Thankfully, the soldiers I had guarding my assessors were able to dispatch the robbers. Let this be a lesson to those in East Riding who would oppose me. Yep, exactly. So that increases the control in East Riding, which is uh, only on 52. Uh, somehow we've got a weak hook on Seawald, our rival. I'm not sure why. It's not sure exactly we can do with that. Yeah. Let's see now. We're back in positive money, so that's not bad. We can change Prince Edward's contract. Also, do we want to? 
No, I don't think so. Low control in North Ridings. That's right up here. Let's let's see now. We'll fix that up. There's low control all over the North, actually, and there's low control everywhere. Let's get working on this. It's going to take us a while to get this back under control. So... We're almost done. This is going to put us in negative again. See it done. 66. We're just about negative. So we've got a claim on Norfolk now. We are going to take that off him. Restrict access to only my tax collectors. We've got another lifestyle perk here. Centralization. Development growth in realm capital plus 30 per month. Tax man efficient taxing by 25%. Go with that one. So... We've got 13 in the bank. Well, let's let's build our money up a little bit, then we'll take Norfolk off him. I, I, I resent having to do this because, like, our grandson stands to inherit this. But he would then also become his liege. I, I don't really understand how this has happened. This is clearly in my realm. It's in one of my duchies. Um, I honestly don't get it. There must be. I must have missed something. I, I really don't know. So we've got time ticking by here. It's 9.01 AD. Still seducing our daughter-in-law, which I'm regretting now since she's now given birth to a son. I mean, of course. Of course. Uh, I think I'm going to... Um, we're actually going to end this plot since we don't need it now. We're, we're going to abandon that plot. We don't need that hassle, I don't think, because it's bound to come out. <laughs> That's not what we want. So... Uh, we've got 144 in the bank now. I'm going to have to declare war on him. I really don't want to. I don't want to at all. Uh, they've now got an ally. Petty King of Strathclyde. Has he got anything worth worrying about? I wasn't there. Not really. We've got 5,400 we can raise. Like I say, I didn't want to do this, but I, I can't see a solution on how... how we would have taken that place back. We're raising our men in Suffolk, and we're going to press straight in there. Lutrid's army. Yeah, so they've joined the war, but, I mean, we'll keep the second army ready to pounce on anybody who's coming through to kind of help out. I really, honestly, I honestly don't think, see why I've had to do this. It's, it doesn't make any sense to me. We'll leave it be, though. We're losing a little bit of money with our troops raised, but that's fine. The armies from the Isle of Man and the other army as well. Can we take them on? Should be okay. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. We get a bonus because they've just landed, of course. Defeat. Oh, that's the other war. Grandson taken prisoner. Oh. So this was that war in Gascony where this guy obviously must have lost his war. And it's been deposed. Not good news, but... Maybe we should have taken part in it. Yeah, we had a victory up there. Let's check out the stats. We lost 446 men. They lost 959, so it's pretty bad for them, really. Details. Oh, let me kill quite a lot. 542. Oh, knights. Or five knights combined killed up 302 enemy people. Not too bad, eh? <laughs> So, Reeve Saxbold of Wilton, he killed 78 men in this battle. He got himself wounded. But, you know, that's pretty damn impressive. Uh, <laughs> did our son fight here? No, he didn't. Oh, Prince Lawrence fought. He killed 65. Good job, Lawrence. War scores on 52. Captured Earl Tudor's wife, Princess Eadbird. That's That's our daughter. So we, we could recruit her back, but let's not do that. What would be the point, I guess? Let's combine our forces. Some buildings getting finished here. Isle of Wight, Bastion and Curtain Walls. Another stewardship lifestyle perk. Centralization, increase the growth in the capital. It done. So we captured 
someone else and that drove it over the edge. So that's now ours. Um, Norfolk. I didn't want it. I would rather have just had that guy back in my realm, to be honest, because he was close to us. Um, where's our daughter now? That wasn't her. She's still in our prison. Lord Tudwal. I mean, like, where is he now? Let's see if we can't. We'll release her, obviously. We could ransom her for 25, but I think I, I want to release her. Recruit? Will she come back to our court? Or will she go back to him? Let's see what happens. Um, our grandson was also a prisoner. Is that him? Yeah. He, like, he's Welsh, so let's... Oh, we can't recruit him. Fine, we'll let him go for 50. He's our, our grandson. We're not going to do anything heinous with him. Watch your step now. So is she in our lands? Is she with us? Our... Located in Hampshire. Yes, she's back in our realm. I'd, I'd... Yeah, fine. That's great. Our grandson's been released. We now control Norwich, of course. Uh, Norfolk, sorry. Let's go straight on with that. Strike a deal with the chief merchant, uh, chief mason. Yeah, fine. Then we have an agreement. Cooperative stone masons for twenty years. Okay. Cornwall is still a place that we're after. Can we claim it? Can we offer vassalage to him? Will not accept. Even on low feudal obligations, he will not accept. Sort us out a claim for Cornwall. <laughs> And then we'll all but have united the majority of England, just the kind of far north is still we need to work on. Died of consumption. Oh dear. He was only 32 as well. Prince Lawrence, now a powerful vassal, but he's only got nine. I'm not putting him in there. Prince Edward, reassign. What's he doing now? Oh, he's our chancellor. No. Yeah, he'll do. 13, not great. But okay. We will go to limited crown authority. Gives us a bit more authority over the realm. We've got some stuff going on here. Let's have a look. We can negotiate alliances. Ask head of faith for gold. That's always a good one. I'll always take that. We can create the Duchy of York. Let's do that. It's going to cost 250, which gives us 300 prestige. Create it. And does that mean we hold it? Yeah, we hold that then. And that's not what we want at all. Too many duchies held. So that is now called the Petty Kingdom of Dera. Um, we'll hold on to these two. We'll give this away to someone. Oh, does that mean we also lose York then? New, new domain size, nine. Ah, oh, that's okay. There was nothing there anyway. Did I give away the wrong thing? Holy Order, Knights Templar want to set up in our lands. I thought I'd given this away. I mean, I must have given the wrong thing away there. Damn it. Fine. Damn it. <laughs> but it means we can actually, we can hold Cornwall then, I think. Pre present my claims on Cornwall. Yep. Yeah. There's some sort of war going on down here. Someone having a dispute. Yeah, yeah he's got allies, but not really. Elizabeth comes of age, our daughter. She's 16. Became a brilliant strategist and a reaver. Oh, that's interesting, I would say. Decent martial skills. Let's see if we can marry her to someone. Duke Alfred of Angria. Kind of Central European. Yeah, that seems like a good match to me. This war should be a walkover again. I mean, really, we should just be straight out of the war and capture this place. War scores at 35 already. 
let's have a quick look at our our knights. So we don't want our air fight. No, that's why he's not in there because this allowed it. Earl Uhtred of East Anglia. He now has a prowess of thirty-one. That's that's pretty good. Not bad. So he has his allies coming to land, but I mean, we'll kill them. No problem. Another victory. My Chancellor Prince Edward has worked hard to convince our neighbouring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with Prince Cadell of Man is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. I am once again free to declare war upon him if I please. Well, so if we want to, we can declare war on the Isle of Man. My charming son and heir, Prince Edward, has been released from his imprisonment at the hands of Earl Edward. I didn't even know he'd been imprisoned. Uh, but he's got two sons now, so yeah, that, that's really... I'm really pleased with that, actually. I still don't really understand how he was in prison. And how come I can name this guy's children, but I couldn't name my sons? Um, fine, Joan. Okay. We'll give this chancellorship back to him. I'd... Yeah, it's finished already, that war. He took his son hot captive. Five prisoners can be ransomed. We'll have a look at that after this. Let's enforce the demands. Yeah, sweet victory. Gain 60 fame. And of course, captured this place. We're back with a 10 domain. I'll have to be careful if I have to give this away now. Because I think this is another duchy. Petty Kingdom is held by me. I want to give that away to someone. Who am I going to give it to? Ken Wolf, he looks pretty good. 16 Marshall. Now, let's just double check this. The Earldom of Devon and the Earldom of Cornwall. Not really. I don't want to give him the Earldom of that. He can have the Earldom of Cornwall. If I give him the Earldom of Cornwall, he can also hold the Petty Kingdom of Cornwall. And that should mean Devon stays under our direct control. Which is fine because I've built that place up a little bit. Let's see if this works now. Yes. This guy is massive. He's a giant. He's absolutely huge. So he now holds the Duchy of Cornwall for us. 56 years old. Our son's 27. He's, he's fathered two children, which is great. Eadbald and Alfred. Oh, nice. Named after us. His children are still very young, so... Not sure where they're going to go with this stat line. I hope we haven't created two powerful vassals for him. So when he takes over, things are going to get difficult. I mean, we'll find out. He will hold substantial lands, of course. Being my only legitimate heir. Who's this last guy? Connemore. Ah, he's not used to man the beast. We emptied the dungeon. Court physician. Our daughter, poor. Hmm. Let's see if we can't find a better court physician. Commission an artifact. Now we might do that. Search for a physician first, though. Let's commission an artifact while we're at it. Regalia. Cool. Conoma, wasn't he just at that? He was just here, wasn't he? Physician. 16 learning, that's pretty good. Renowned physician, but only 14 learning. And this lady here. Let's bring him in. He's our physician now. Oh, fine. We've got a decent physician. Smallpox. Oh no! The curse of death has fallen upon my court. A case of smallpox has been discovered. The unfortunate victim is my guest, Whitbur. The taint possessing her flesh is a danger to us all. While she remains afflicted, no life at court is safe. Kick her out. Isolate her. She's also gout ridden. Not having a very good time. Isolate her and pray for her. Uh, my beneficiary, Alessandra, approached me. Thought, is there anything special to you, Lord? Uh, this is for our regalia. To my beloved Elswith. Only the Lord guides me. There's no need for a dedication. 
Economer has gained the trait Renowned Physician. Excellent. My daughter, Eid Burr, has given birth to another daughter. So this... Ah, so this is who we took. We took his land off him. Um, he still likes us enough. <laughs> is he in our court? Not too sure. No, he's not. Can we bring him to court? No. Why don't we learn his language? Yeah, let's learn his language. Alfred was a very scholarly man in real life. Smallpox, a new day. The outbreak smallpox has rushed my course to find you. Well, it wasn't too bad in the end, was it? <laughs> um, inspiration realized. She's made us a... Oh, this is some regalia. So we're getting extra renown, prestige, piety, and spouse opinion plus five. This is lovely. Yeah. Cool. Another lifestyle perk. We're going to work down here to get the architect if we manage it. 58 years old now. Now, the Yaldum of Northumbria, we need to be... We need to bring them in, really. I wonder if we can do this without a war. I mean, we could just take it. Holy war for the duchy. It'd be no problem. But it's, we're just, just going to take it. So we've really consolidated the realm here. Uh, I feel like I feel like we've really conquered a lot. Once we get this northern section under control, this is actually where I live in this this area here. Yeah, so uh, be nice to control my hood. <laughs> Only 460 levies and some catapult things there. While the main army is going to press south and take these guys out. Already done. Easy. Uh, far too easy, really. Uh. So we'll pay it. So now we're back over the domain limit. Well, we hold nearly everything now. So there's two little independent counties here, which, I mean, they're run by the Norse. Oh, no, this, these guys are actually Anglo-Saxon, but they are following the Norse religion. So can we... Of a vassalage. No. Uh, she's at war with someone, right? With this guy, maybe? They're at war. So I think they're at war with each other, actually. We're going to disband our armies. We're over the domain limit yet again. Bebenbur, Dunham, um, Carlyle, Carlisle, Bambra, and Durham, of course. Uh, we need to give these away, really. At least two of them. And we're going to do that now. Um... Regenwald to Kiel? Yeah, he can hold Durham for us. Come on, Durham. He becomes our vassal. Carlisle. Grant that to someone as well. Someone with decent stewardship. Someone from Derby. There you go, you can have that, mate. Awesome. So, we hold too many duchies, I think. Again, you can create a duchy of Northumbria. Oh, we haven't created that yet, so maybe we'll not do that yet. We can ransom Arsbjorn. <laughs> That's a nice name. For 100, yeah, thank you. So, it's time to wrap this episode up. It's 907 AD. We've all but got England under our control. So, we dominate this island. We're allied with the Scots for now. But how long is that going to last? I don't know. I'm not sure. I feel like we could maybe dominate the whole of Britain, to be honest. Uh, islands still really fractured into tiny kingdoms. Wales and Isle of Man have got little bits of land here and there. So there's a few different Welsh kingdom um, kingdoms. Sorry, And we will certainly be their overlords in time. I can't see how they can resist us, to be honest. We can raise quite a large army. Things are going well. Our son now has two children, three children now, two sons and a daughter. So we are really building up a nice dynasty here. It's, it's looking really good for Alfred the Great. Alfred the Great, King of England, Emperor of Britain, maybe? That's certainly the head, uh, direction we'll be heading in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. 
If you did enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and come back for more. There's regular content on this channel now, sort of every day I'm trying to put out a video. If I have time, it'll be, at, at, at worst, it'll be every other day. So if you do enjoy this kind of content, Crusader Kings 3, other strategy games, you know, I'm always open to playing other things. I've got quite an extensive game library. Um... And I, and I do enjoy playing strategy games, historical games. I have an interest in history. So, yeah, like I say, if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Catch you later. I hope you have a good day. Tara for now.